It's been described as the biggest shake-up of the welfare system since the 1940s. Today, the national rollout of the government's flagship universal credit scheme begins. It merges six main benefits and tax credits into one monthly payment. Well, so far, the scheme has been piloted in 96 job centres. In the next two months, it will be in another 150, but for single people, only couples and families will have to wait. It's due in all job centres by next year, but not for all claimants. It will be tested on simple cases first to ensure systems can cope with more complex ones. We're joined now by the Work and Pension Secretary, Ian Duncan-Smith, who's in our Westminster studio. Good morning, Ian Duncan-Smith. Thank you very much good, for joining us on Breakfast. Thank you. Um, let's start with um, universal credit then. And the number of people who are eligible, 8 million, um, we, we understand. How many are on it? now, um, two years after it was implemented? Yeah. Actually, the numbers that are eligible, of course, is a variable because it hugely depends on how many we put back to work. And, of course, because of the numbers of people going back to work, the numbers that are eligible have fallen consistently now over the last two years. So it's a feature of how many people are in work, how many people are looking for work, how many people go back to work. The reality, though, is, as I said on uh, time and time again on interviews, is that uh, two, year, two and a half years ago, I decided the original rollout plan, which would have been like tax credits, a big bang rollout, uh, was the wrong way to do it. Uh, I took consultation with uh, specialists in the field uh, outside the civil service, and we agreed that the way we're rolling it out now, which has now been approved by the government's independent review body, uh, that this is the right way, which you, you, you bring it out as we say, you test it as you bring it out, you uh, make any corrections that are necessary, everybody has a proper experience of it, uh, and what you then load in is a system that actually works. And the point about universal credit is, it's not actually, I mean, go on about the IT system, it's not actually an IT program, it's a program of change.